And if you want to read my mind, just go ahead. There's nothing to hide. I'm so depressed. I'm not gonna lie. Hi, good afternoon, students. Last time we completed 3.6 exercise in linear equations uh, in two variables. Today, let us see graph regarding that. So today we are going to study graph of linear equations in two variables. First, let us try to understand what is meant by a graph. Linear equation is given, you can draw the graph. Graph is what it uh, represents the x and y value in the form of a point <coughs> where these points are joined, you will get a straight line. That is called as a graph. Representation of x and y in, in terms of points. And by joining those points, you get a straight line that is called as graph. <coughs> that means, if you take a Let us take this. Two straight lines are perpendicular intersecting each other. Okay. So the horizontal straight line we always call it as x axis. The vertical straight line we call it as y axis. So with the help of x axis and y axis Whatever the linear equation is given, you represent that linear equation with the help of this uh, graph. It, with the help of x and y axis, you can call it as what? Graph. That means you need the points on x axis and you need points on y axis. So where the x and y axis meet, this we call it as origin or we represent it with 0. So on the whole, the graph is divided into... Uh, by joining vertical uh, y axis and horizontal x axis into four major divisions, which is called as quadrant. Each part is called as quadrant. This is first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Let us take that x axis is nothing but it is a number line. And y axis also nothing but it is a number line. We know what we do on a number line. We represent the numbers. Always we represent the positive numbers on right hand side. And negative numbers on the left hand side. Yeah, when we represent, we take a vertical straight line. Always upwards the plus and downwards the minus. Okay. So in first quadrant. If you take the value of x and y, both the values will be plus. That is, x also will get plus and y also will get plus. In second quadrant, y value will, uh, x value will become minus, y value will become plus. In third quadrant, both x and y are minus. In fourth quadrant, x is plus and y is minus. This is the representation where the pair, number in pairs, first number always indicates the value of x and the second number always indicates the value of y. So representing the value of x and y of any equation in the form of dot and joining the line which we get a straight line is called as graph. So this is the explanation regarding the graph. So always remember the horizontal line represents x-axis and the vertical line represents y-axis. Okay, it divided into how many quadrants? Four quadrants. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. Moves in a cyclic way. In first quadrant, the value of x and y both will be positive because according to number line, right hand side will always write positive number and in vertical, upwards always we write it down as positive. So x is positive, y is positive. In second quadrant, x is negative, y is positive. 
In third quadrant, both x and y are negative. In fourth quadrant, x is uh, positive and y is negative. So, let us see now some uh, thing I want to tell you that if two straight lines are given, suppose this is one straight line and this is another straight line are given. What, how will you arrange these two straight lines? What are the possibilities of arranging these two straight lines? How can you arrange it? I can make these two straight lines to lie one below the other like this way. Means with equal distance between them. So this became as what? A parallel lines. Or I can make these two lines intersect at one common point. So it is called as intersecting lines. Okay. And third way how to arrange it is the first way. Second way. Third way how to arrange it. If this is a bigger line and inside that only one more smaller line will come. Means what? Some of the points are common in both of them. So they coincide. Coincide. This is coinciding lines. So the lines, two lines can be arranged in three ways. The lines can become parallel to each other. The lines can intersect with each other or the lines can coincide with each other. This is very important for us because we are going to see the graph of the two that is uh, linear equations. Two uh, lines we will get. So how can the lines be? Either the two graph that is the two equations straight line may be parallel to each other. The two equations straight line may be intersecting with each other or two straight line equation may be coinciding with each other. To find out whether it is intersecting, whether it is coincident or whether it is what? It is uh, parallel to each other. How to find it out? I told you there is A1 by B A2 is, it, is not equal to B1 by B2. That we got three types of solutions. Unique solution. Then what we had? Infinite solution and no solution. Unique solution, infinite solution and no solution. Okay. So, depending on that only, whether graphs can be become parallel, the graphs can become intersecting and the graphs can become coincident. coincident that is coinciding with each other. So, let us see the examples for the graph. The exercise which I have left out doing that exercise is, exercise 3.1 is given to you. Let us see that exercise 3.1, how to draw the graph, express algebraically and graphically. Means you have to write down the problem sum is given, you have to write down the form the equation. That is called algebraic expression and then with the help of that equation you have to draw the graph. So let us see the first sum. Let us see exercise 3.1 first sum. What is given? Aftab tells his daughter 7 years ago means before 7 years I was 7 times as old as you were then and also 3 years from now I shall be three times as old as you will be. Represent algebraic elements. You have to make simultaneous equation and you have to draw a graph. So here, seven years ago, seven times. Then here, three years from now, three times. So what we do? Let Aftab's age be x. So what we are going to take? Let Aftab's H, B, X and daughters age B, Y. Okay. Now, 7 years ago means 7 years back. So, from Aftab's age I have to subtract 7 and from daughter's age also I have to subtract 7. So, how many times the after will be? Seven times the 
daughter's age. So what shall I get over here now? X minus 7 is equal to 7y. 7 into 7 is 49. So what shall I do now? 7y I'll bring here. X minus 7y is equal to minus uh, 49 plus 7. So what I'll get? X minus 7y is equal to minus 42. Okay. Now, 3 years from now. So what I have to do, I have to add 3 years to the Aftab's age also and 3 years to the daughter's age. How many times the Aftab will be? 3 times more than the daughter's age. So what shall I get? X plus 3 is equal to 3Y plus 3, 3 is a 9. So X minus 3Y is equal to plus 9 minus 3. X minus 3Y is equal to 6. So I got the equation as x minus 7y is equal to minus 42. x minus 3y is equal to 6. Okay. Now I have to find out. So first I will take this equation, find out the value of x. Then I will take the second equation and find out the value of x. So that is very important for us. We have to find out the value of x and y. If we take the value of x, we will get the value of uh, y. So what does the first equation tells us? x minus 7y is equal to minus 42. x minus 7y is equal to minus 42. So x value I have to substitute. So x I will take that side. Minus 7y is equal to minus 42 minus x. Minus sign if I cancel, oh, what will happen? 7y is equal to 42 plus x. y is equal to 42 plus x divided by 7. So, I have to make, what I have to make? I have to make the, what to call it as? The column for x and y values. Okay, for which values? X value and Y value. I have to make the column. So I am going to make the column now. So here. Okay. So this is X value. This is for second equation, let that value be. So that column I can draw that side. So, 42 plus x by 7. Means if you go on supposing the value of x. Okay. Then you suppose the value of x in such a way that it should become the multiple of 7. If I take let us here and take the x is equal to 0. What will happen? 42 plus 0 divided by 7. So, what will happen? x is equal to 0. 42 plus 0 divided by uh, Divided by 7 is equal to 42 by 7. 7, 6 is equal to 6 I got. Okay, if I suppose x is equal to what it is? 7 value. Okay. Now, let me take x is equal to 7 itself. So, what I will get? 42 plus 7 divided by 7. 49 by 7. 7, 7 za. So, I got it as 7. If x is 7, y is 7. Okay. Then, let me take, because it should be multiple of 7, keep in mind, 7 table, 7 1 the 7, 7 2 the 14, 7 3 the 21, 7 4 the 20, like this way it should be multiple. I am going to take x value as minus 7. So what shall I get if I take x is equal to minus 7, x is equal to minus 7. So I will get 42 minus 7 divided by 7. Okay, so 42 minus 7 is how much? 35. So how many times it is? 5. So I got it as 5. So first equation x and y value I got it. Now let us take the second equation. What is second equation? x minus 3y is equal to 6. So what shall I get here now? Second equation I am going to take. x minus 3y. So x minus 3y is equal to 6. So what will happen here? Uh, minus 3y is equal to 6 minus x. I want to change the minus sign. So this becomes plus, this will become minus, this will become plus. So 3y is equal to x plus 6. 
Therefore, y is equal to x plus 6 by 3. Means here also you have to take x and y, x value in such a way that it should become the multiple of what? Multiple of 3. So be careful when you are taking the value of x and y over here. So this I have drawn over here. So this is x and y value. Let us take 3 uh, values are enough to make it to lie in a straight line. So three values I am going to take it over here. So let us take it. So let us take uh, mm, x is equal to 0. x is equal to 0. So what we will get? Uh, uh, 0 plus 6 by 3 is equal to 6 by 3 is equal to 2. So x and y. So uh, y is equal to 2. Take x is equal to 3. So what we will get? 0, x value is 3. So 3 plus 6 divided by 3 is equal to, what we get? 9 by 3, 3 ones are 3, 3 is are. So if x is 3, y is also 3. x is equal to minus 3, let us say. x is equal to minus 3. So what we will get? Uh, minus 3 plus 6 divided by 3 is equal to, Plus 3 by 3, 3 ones are is equal to 1. So minus 3, 1. Now we have to draw the graph of this. So two graphs will come here. Y value maximum is minus 7. That is X value and Y value is 7. Here 2 and 3 it will come within that only. So we have to draw the graph now. This is X axis. Okay. This is x axis and this is y axis. In your scale, centimeters are there. So take uh, what you call it as a uh, 1 1 centimeter as one unit over here. So what is given over here? That is a uh, uh, Age is given. So on x axis we are going to take one value and on y axis we are going to take the other value. x axis is the age of Afta and y axis is the age of daughter. Okay. So what we are going to take over a scale, what we are going to take over here is that one unit okay, is equal to one, uh, one year and in y axis also one unit, one unit is equal to one year and on y axis also one unit is equal to one year. So both one 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 centimeter correctly you have to mark. Don't okay make mistake in marking. So on x axis how much we have minus okay on x axis we have minus seven means we want on the minus side also we want the line. So both the side we have to extend it. So okay y axis uh, minus sign is not there. So if you don't represent y axis minus sign it will do but we have to show at least two representation of minus sign on y axis. Okay. Okay now, uh, now let us see over here. From 0 we will start. Equal what you call it as marking. 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because plus 7 is there. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7. Then here also what 7 you should get? Minus 7 you should get on the left hand side also. So mark it properly. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I got it as this is 0. I got it as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. On y axis, 1 is enough. 
So this is zero, this is minus one. On up positive y axis, five is there. So I will mark till five. One, two, three, four, five, and one more I will mark. Six. So this is plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six. Now let us mark the points. First column we will get that is x minus 7y is equal to minus 42 that we will take. x is 0, x is 0. y is how much? 6. So y is 6. So this is the first mark. So here what it is? 0, 6. First mark. x is 0, y is 6. Second one. x is 7 x is 7 and here also one more now uh, one more we need that is what it is uh, y is also y is also 7 so here you will get it as uh, 0 6 and here 7 7 x is 7 y is 7 so where you will get that point let us see x is 7 and y is also Seven. So x is 7 and y is 7. Okay. Ah, so here you will get 7, 7. Next, minus 7 and what is given? y is 5. So minus 7 and 5. So this is minus 7 and 5. So these are the representation of points. So you got this minus 7, 0, 6 and 7, 7. Let us join these lines, these points. So we got our first equation. What is this first equation? X minus 7y is equal to minus 42. This is a straight line for the first equation. Let us go to the second equation what we have got. On the same graph we have to mark. What is given? 0 and 2. This is 0 and this is 2 over here. So this you got it as 0 and 2. Next one is given 3 and 3 plus 3. Okay. And let us see where this will come. Ah, so plus 3 and 3. Next one is minus 3 and 1. So so minus 3 and 1. These lines. Okay. This is 3 Three. We have to write down the, what to call it as the uh, pace of x and y. That is uh, the uh, coordinates of x and y. So here it is minus 3 and what is 1. So I have to join these two, these lines. So you can see it passes through a straight line. And what is this graph? It is graph of what? x minus 3y is equal to 6. This is how the graph is drawn. And do you first see this graph? So both the graph that is x minus 7y is equal to minus 42 and x uh, minus 3y is equal to 6 is drawn over here. This is the representation of graph. Algebraic representation is x minus 7y is equal to minus 42, x minus 3y is equal to 6. Graphical representation is take the value of x, x becomes 0, what will happen? Okay, then uh, x becomes equal to 7, what will happen? x becomes equal to minus 7, what will happen? y value. If x is 0, y value is 6. If x is plus 7, y value is plus 7. If x is minus 7, y value is 5. Similarly over here, we we'll make it uh, in the terms of y is equal to x plus 6 by 3. x is 0. 0 plus 6 divided by 3, 6 by 3 is equal to 2. So y value is 2. x is 3. So 3 plus 6 is 9 
9 divided by 3 is 3. x is equal to minus 3. Minus 3 plus 6 divided by 3. Minus 6 plus 3 is plus 3. Plus 3 by 3 is equal to 1. So, these two columns are very important to draw the graph. So, first straight line shows x minus 7y is equal to minus 42. Second straight line shows x minus 3y is equal to 6. And very important thing is that whatever the points you are marking, its coordinate should be written. First the value of x, then the value of y. Okay, so 0, 6. So here 0, 6 I have written. 0 is x value, 6 is y value. Then next one is what? 7, 7. 7, 7. Next value, minus 7, 5. In this year, see, 0, 2. Next is 3, 3. Minus 3, 1. So oh, this full thing should be there in the graph. Graph is for 4 marks, then only you will get the 4 marks graph. So came to know how to draw the graph. Now let us see the second example and try to represent algebraically. I told algebraically means what? Converting the problem sums into, into general form of the uh, linear pair of equations. What is given? A coach of cricket team. So here also coach is there. A coach of cricket team buys three bags. And 6 balls giving how much rupees? 3,900. Afterwards, that cricket coach thinks that uh, still that cricket coach, a lady coach, she wants to buy. So she buys another bag. Only one bag she buys. And along with that, three more balls she buys. At that time, she paid rupees 1,300. So represent this uh, in algebra. We will form a linear pair of uh, equations. That is in two variables and draw graph of it. So what we are going to take, let we are going to suppose. Let the, okay, uh, three balls and uh, three. So let the cost of one bag be rupees x. Let the cost of one Ball B rupees Y. So, how many bags first she buys? 3 bags. So, 3X will be the total amount. Ball 6Y will be the total amount. Sum of 3X and 6Y is given how much? 3900. So, 3 bags and 6 balls cost rupees 3900. So, you can make the equation as 3x plus 6y is equal to 3900. See, 3, y, 3, 2 is as if this will also be cancelled. So, you can take out 3 common over here. x plus 2y is equal to 3900. So, what you can take? x plus 2y is equal to 3900 divided by 3. 3 ones are 3 3 is are. So, is equal to 1300. Okay, so you got your first equation. X plus 2y is equal to 1300. Second equation, what it says is that one bat and how many balls? One bat and three balls cost rupees 1300. Cost rupees how much? 1300. So what it will become? One bat means x plus three balls means 3y. Is equal to 1300. This is your second equation. And this is your first equation. Now what we have to do? We have to find out the values. That is, we have to find out the value of x. In uh, so If you take the value of x, find out the value of y in first equation. And find out the value of uh, y in second equation also. First equation I will take. So first equation. x plus 2y is equal to 1300. So x I will take that side. So 2y is equal to 1300 minus x. So y is equal to 1300 minus x divided by 2. So this is for first equation we can find out the value of x by taking this equation. Let us convert the same thing in the second equation. What is second equation D1? In second equation, x plus 3y is equal to 1300. So 
So what will be 3y is equal to? 3y is equal to 1300 minus x. So y is equal to 1300 minus x divided by 3. So both we have converted in y value. Now we will take the values of x and y and we will solve the equation. So it should be a multiple of uh, 2. What it should be multiple of 2. So if I take x is equal to, so we will go 3 digit numbers because it is a big number. So x is equal to 100 if I take. So what will happen? 1300 minus 100 I will get. Okay. What I will get? 1300 minus 100. So first I am going to take if x is equal to 100. So what my equation will become? y is equal to 1300 minus 100 by 2. So it will be equal to 1200 by 2. 2, 6, 0, 0. So if x is 100, y is 600. See how much I am getting? y is 600. Okay. Now, if I take now x value as 100 I took because it will easily get cancelled. So, 1300 minus 100 is 1200. Now, x value, okay, if I take 300, let me take, x value is 300. So, so first we took x value is 100, how much we got it as? Uh, y is equal to 1300 minus. So, let us take next value, if x is equal to 300, so y is equal to 1300 minus 300 divided by 2. From 1300, 300 goes means how much it will become? 1000 divided by 2. Okay. So, how much you will get? 500. So, if 300 is there, 500 I will get over here. Now, minus sign if I keep, what can I do it? Can I get the same uh, uh, this? So, I will take x is equal to now. Here. If x is equal to minus 100 I will take. So here I will take minus 100. So what shall I get? y is equal to 1300 minus of minus 100 divided by 2. Minus of minus means what? Plus. So what shall I get? y is equal to 1400 by 2. So how much you will get it as? 700. So I will got it as 700. So my first equation solution is over. Now I am doing a second equation. What is my second equation? Y is equal to 1300 minus x divided by 3. 3 is there. So I have to be very careful. So second equation. So I will take if x is equal to 100. The same value I am going to take x is equal to 100. So what shall I get? Y is equal to 1300. Okay. Minus 100 divided by 3 is equal to 1200 divided by 3. So I got it as 400. Okay. Now, uh, what it should be? Multiple of 3 should become. Multiple of 3. Multiple of 3 means what? 3 3s are 9 it can become. Uh, 900 is 8 can cancel. Then... Uh, 1200 it will be cancelled, 1500 it will be cancelled. So if I will take the next value, x is equal to, what shall I take it as? x is equal to minus 200 I will take. Let me see what value I will get it as. So if I take x is equal to minus 200, what shall I get it as? y is equal to 1300 minus of minus 200 divided by 3. So 1300 plus 200 by 3 means how much? 1500 by 3. 3 fives are 0. So how much I got it as? 500. So for minus 200 I got it as 500. Now the last value. So what I will take the last value? It should be divisible by 3. Okay. So what the value I will take it as? I should get either 900 or 1200, 1500, then uh, 3, 5 are 15, 3, 6 are 18, 1800 I should get it as. 
So 1800 means it will become as how much? 600. 1800 means what I have to take the x value. x value I should take it as minus 500 if I take it. So x is equal to minus 500. So what shall I get it as? 1300 plus 500 by 3. So I will get it as 1000. So I will write it down directly over here. X is equal to minus 500. It will become 1800 by 3. So it will become, so what it will become? 600. So minus 500 and what it will become? 600. Now we have to take the values. So X value is only negative. Y value is not negative. So I will take X extend on both the sides. So see over here. Okay. X I will draw a bigger line. Because positive number is also there and negative number is also there. And the y value is not only what it is there, only positive value is there for the y. So I am going to extend this y till here. Okay. And little bit I will extend it down. No need to show what it is just to say that y also extends down. This is 0. Now what shall I take it as a... I will take it as 1 unit is equal to 1 unit is equal to 100 baht and on y axis also 1 unit is equal to 100 ball. So 100, 100, 100 I will get it as. So on x axis 100, 300 is there, 100 is there. So 3 what to call it as I have to march 3 points, equal points, 3 because what is there? 300 is there. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 1 extra I will mark it as. So this became as 100, 100, 200, 300 and 400. Here how much I have to mark it as 5 because minus 500 is there. So till minus 5 is there. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So minus 100, minus 200, minus 300, minus 400, minus 500. Up to till how much is there? 7 is there. So equal markings. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. You should be careful that all these markings should be equal on x-axis and y, the distance between uh, two markings. So this is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 and 700. Now let us see how what we are going to do. So we are going to mark the points. Okay. First one. X axis is 100. Y axis is 600. So X axis is 100. And Y axis is 600. So this is the first point. 100 and 600. Okay. Second point. X axis is 300. Y axis is 500. 300. Ah, see now we got it as 300 and this is 500. So x axis is 300, y axis is 500. Next one. X axis is minus 100 and y axis is 700. Minus 100 and, and 7. Minus 100 and this is minus 100 and 700 I got it as. Okay. So let us see what, what now we will get it as 700. Mm. So straight line. Any two points lies in a straight line that is enough to join it. So here two points are lying in a straight line. I got a straight line graph. And what is the straight line graph? Whose graph it is? What is the graph? X plus 2y. So it is x 
plus 2y is equal to 1300. Let us take a second equation. 100 and 400. 100 and 400. So this is 100 and 400. Then minus 200 and 500. So minus 200 and 500. Okay. Then that is minus 200, 500. Minus 500 and 600. Okay. See. Minus 500 and 600. Minus 500 and 600. See now all these three points lying in a straight line. So I can join them and I got my equation. Which is this equation now which I am getting over here? The equation is which equation? Second equation. What is the second equation? X plus 3y is equal to 1300. So this is how you have to draw, uh, to draw the graph that is algebraic expression and graphical expression. So here what is given? 3 bats and 6 balls. Let the cost of 1 bat be x and let the cost of 1 ball be y. So 3 bats and 6 balls will become 3x plus 6y. Total amount is 3900. 3 you can take out common. So it will become x plus 2y is equal to 1300. Second one, 1 bat and 3 ball. So x plus 3y is equal to 1300. Well, I will convert in uh, finding out the x value. So I will convert it in the expression of y. So y is equal to 1300 minus x by 2. Here y is equal to 1300 minus x by 3. Taking x value, x is equal to 100. So, 1300 minus 100 is 1200 by 2, it is 600. X is equal to 300. So, 1300 minus 300 is equal to 1000. So, it became 500. X is equal to minus 100. Minus of minus is for, what I think, 1400. 1400 means it became as 700. So, 100, 600, 300, 500 minus 100. Then what gave it as minus 100 and what? 700. So next, our x is equal to 100. So 1300 minus 100 by 3, 1200 by 3 is equal to 400. x is equal to minus 200. y is equal to 1300 minus of minus plus. 1300 plus 200 is 1500. 1500 by 3 is how much? 500. x is equal to minus 500. Minus of minus. Plus 500, 1300 plus 500 is 1800, it became a 600, minus 500, 600, minus 400, 500, 100, 400. Now we have marked the points, okay, see, 100, 600, 300, 500, 100, 600, 300, 500, then minus 100, 700. So you got a straight line over here. Next you see, 100, 100, 400. Then minus 200, 500, minus 200, 500, minus 500, 600. You got a straight line. This is x plus 2y is equal to 1300. This is x plus 3y is equal to 1300. This is how we have to work out the, what to call it as graph. When, what is given? When problem sum is given. Algebraical limits converting into linear equation form. Graphically means this is graphically and this is algebraically. So came to know. So I will stop over here. Only two graphs is enough. You just see, study and do. One last sum in that exercise is left out. You do by yourself and find out the answer and draw the graph of it. Okay, that is the homework what I have given to you. Next time we will see further more detail about the graph. Still uh, some exercises there to be solved on the graph. That will continue next time. Bye children. Thank you children.